Sorry, Brachia Yahweh, Brachia Yahweh Shai, Kaala Bachia Yahweh Shai, Bachia Yahweh Kakadash, Gabbana for the Elder, Apostle at Great Milton, the Ru Will, and probably take them to and put them the truth across the four corners of the earth, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bachia Yahweh Shai, that the hopeful elect, and who the world early called God, his name Yahweh, and who the world early called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Where the Hebrew is like that consists of the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian, Mahari Kaufman, from the Great Millstone, like the Angela Camp of the Inland Empire region. Alright, that's the article concerning uh, Sorry, the like it's concerning um, properties, alright, the Revelation 13, alright, which is known as the MOTB, it's the mark of the beast, or uh, in, the, in that word, all right, in the Greek, is karagma, all right, stuff to be inserted, which is, is a physical thing, all right, which allow you to buy, sell, the function in the society to come. So this is tyranny news, or tyranny dot news, all right. Senate committee passed a bill creating national digital ID systems, but they will never require it for voting. See that? So they're not have uh, to vote on it. All right, which means it's gonna automatically go into law. All right, and it's gonna tell you how they're gonna do it. A lot of the time, when they pass these uh, bills and stuff, they be hiding stuff inside it. All right, they'll hide other stuff in it. Well, who's going to really sit there and read thousands of pages of letters? I mean, thousands of pages of uh, paper, document. So that's why they hide it in there, all right? And then uh, whatever bill that they hide this into get passed, all right? A Senate committee just passed a bill creating national digital ID system for American citizens raising fear that a centralized digital database where everybody's private information could be abused. And last September, the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee voted to advance the Improving Digital Identity Act to make sure that it passes. Lawmaker in the Senate plan on attaching a bill which already has a companion bill in the House to must pass the fin Fending legislation, see that? Like I just said. They hide these certain bill within another bill what they know have to uh what they know that is gonna get passed. And that's how they can get some of these uh stuff on the book, all right? Whether it's too controversial or uh they feel like somebody certain amount of uh senator is not gonna vote on it, they're gonna just hide it in another uh, bill in this case is the uh, defense spending legislation that, that have to pass. They're not going to determine how much money can be allocated to the uh, to that um, area. All right. If it passes, the bill will lead to the creation of the Improving Digital Identity Task Force, a public private task force meant to develop the care method for governmental agencies to. Supposedly, protect the privacy and security of individuals, and support the creation of a liable, a reliable, interoperable digital identity verification system for both public and private sectors. All right. The legislation also gives the Department of Homeland Security the power to award grant to state, local, tribal, and territorial government to upgrade their digital identification system that provide residents with driver's licenses or other type of, of identity cre uh, credentials. The grant would go to upgrade supporting the development of highly secure interoperable systems that enable digital identity verification. All right. It's the... Um, Digital ID are supposed to enable individuals to prove who they are through virtual systems, 
prominent claim the main benefit of digital ID is to control the amount of information to close during identification verification check, thus as to enter a bar or to pass through security checkpoint at airports. Then, for example, instead of presenting a bouncer with an ID that includes not just the person's name and age, but also their address and other private information, that person will instead present a QR code for scanning that will only provide relevant information. In this case, just prove that a person is 21 years old or above without revealing their birth date. All right. And that's how they're going to push it. All right, and that's a, a, a form of deceiving the people and accepting this idea. All right. It says in 2019, a report from McKinsey Global Institute argued that national di uh, digital ID system could be the key to unlocking access to financial services, various government benefit, educational opportunities and other critical services for more citizens. But what's prominent of digital ID system don't realize is that many of today's drive for the creation of national ID system are backed by globalist organizations like the World Economic Forum and Big Tech Elite like billionaire Bill Gates. Alright, so they're um you know, trying to get this going for the for this beat system, all right, that they've been um, orchestrating, okay? It's almost as though the globalist elite have instructed their minions in the mainstream media to keep quiet about their plan for global domination, wrote Mitch, of course. All right, because they own these media uh, news stations and stuff. They get the okay and what the, they can speak on and what not to speak on. All right. Now, in the midst of a media blackout, a proposed national ID system for U.S. citizens is fast becoming a reality. All right. I think we're almost done with the article. Then we get the description. <coughs> Dimitri noted that the end goal of, for the globalists is not to get every citizen in every nation to agree to a worldwide digital ID system. They want something much more permanent than an ID that can be left at home when people feel like it or forget it. He wrote, the end goal is to implant, well, let's say the Quran, look at that. All right, the MOTB, the RFID chip, and every person on the planet that can keep track of everybody's movement and activity at every moment of their life. In the end, everything will be connected to a single implantable device, he warned. And he's absolutely right about that. You know, because that's their plan, all right? And that's also a uh, property, okay? So you get the revelation. Uh, everybody 13 and uh, 15 and he had power to give life onto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed alright and the image of the beast is this um this uh this uh basically the new world order that he thought he was pushing the elite or pushing alright onto the people alright Everything can be digitalized. Um, pretty much the internet of things. All right. All these things is part of the beast, the image of the beast speaking. Okay. And call that uh, many, though, they, cause like you said, anybody's not going to, they, they don't um, want to chip everybody they know. A lot of people are going to uh, rise up against it, 
or they're gonna decline it. And they have plans to kill those people. They already wanna keep population down, all right? So a couple hundred thousand, all right? While right now, uh, it's about to be over eight billion people on the earth. I thought folks online saying that. All right. Verse 15, he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So it doesn't matter if you, uh, what your social status is, what your uh, tax bracket is, if you're poor or you're rich, all right, you're in school or you're just working or both, okay, or you're in prison or not in prison, they're going to uh, want you to take that in order to sustain in this, uh, the new world order to come, all right? We're going to be controlled by the uh, internet, all right? Technology, all right? The internet of things, the internet of bodies, all right? All that to be controlling, all right? The society, the system that Esau uh, is about to uh, initiate, okay? And you're going to have it to where it's going to be exclusive to those that only have this RFID tag in their body or the, the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, all right, that carotid, all right, that implantable device that can be inserted, okay? Feel like the guy's dead. He said it's something that they want to put inside of you. He said the end goal is to implant a microchip in every person on the planet that can keep track of it. Everybody moving, all right. So you read, uh, 15 again, it causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And you look at the word mark, that's our day to Karagma. All right, you look at the Greek word for that Karagma. Strong G, 5480, Haragma, Haragma. All right, a stamp, a printed mark, okay. Mark, we say a scratch or an etching, that's a physical thing. Now you look at the word, the root word, Karak. Strong G, 5482, Haraks, Haraks. Haraks, all right, and that is what? A pill or a steak, a palisade. Okay, but these syringes, these needles, look like, all right, the edge of a pill or a steak. And that's how they're gonna insert that chip, all right, that MOTB, into your body, all right, via, because the syringe is gonna be the uh, the, uh, the uh, delivery system for that implantable device to be put into your body, all right. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the crossman or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. So they're going to have it to where that would be the only way you could operate in this uh, society is only if you have that uh, implantable device in your body. All right. That would be the only way to do it, okay? And like I said, they're going to deceive the people into taking this, because what we read earlier. Yeah, right here, the digital ID. Are supposed to enable individuals to prove who they are to a virtual system. Prominent claim the main benefit of digital ID is to control the amount of information to close doing uh, a verification check or in a bar security checkpoint. All right. So the thing in a different scenario was that the only information would be revealed is only for what uh, they need for you to uh, pass through. Okay. And that could be the, uh, a another form 
of the demon you into taking that trip. What is that? Oh. Here it is, Revelation 19 and 20. And the beast were taken with him, the, the beast, all right? If we know it's the native of the EU, all right? He thought Edom, um, power government structure, all right? What they're gonna want to form a new world order, okay? It says, the beast were taken, and with him, the false prophet, that was miracle before him, with which he deceived them and had received the mark. So you people are going to be deceived. All right, what are you thinking? They oh, it's for your convenience. Oh, it's the only certain uh, information will be revealed. You go through certain things or certain places. All right. All those are a are, are, uh, form of a way to deceive you into accepting the idea to um, get chipped, basically. Okay. which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast, all right, the charisma of the beast, and them that worship his image, because essentially you take on that, that uh, implantable, implantable device, you're actually okay in accepting and worshiping the, the uh, image with the system of societies that he had set up, all right? And them that worship his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. All right, and that could be the ITB and Mythos, so all you could be destroyed. And that's the penalty for taking that RFID chip. All right, that implantable device. All right, the MOTB. All right, oh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave it at that, you know. So, hey. Property, all right. We're, we're almost there. All we're waiting for is this to be mandatory, all right. Everything is here for it, all right. Everything, the system is in place, all right. All these things are in place for the thing to happen, all right. All it takes is for them to stay. It's mandatory, all right. You can't do S, Y, and D unless you have this karma in you, all right. So with that, I'm going to stay 20 hours, 20 hours shy, so long.